Welcome back to a handcrafted holiday. I hope you've enjoyed the first seven days and I cannot wait to show you what I have in store for today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms, and today is day eight of a handcrafted holiday. Would you gift somebody something you thrifted? That is the question. So in today's video, I am going to show you what I thrifted and how I upcycle it to give it away as a gift. Here is what I found when I was at the bins. I was digging and it was actually at the bottom. I was very surprised that it had not gotten damaged, but it was very, I guess, packaged very well. Uh, it is on a cardboard and it is a print. It's signed and numbered and it has the information about the artist. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I saw it and at first I was going to keep it for myself but I thought this would be a perfect gift to give somebody. Now I'm not going to give it as is. We are going to do a little bit of something to it to create a beautiful masterpiece. The first thing I did is I went into my stash of wood and this board was almost a perfect match. I just needed to trim off a little bit of the end. So the first thing I did is I decided to unpackage the print. And like I said, it was packaged very well. So it was completely wrapped in plastic. It had this really thick like cardboard, foam board type thing and it came with information about the print and then the print itself. If you notice I'm inspecting this paper, I was not expecting uh, the type of paper. It was almost it reminded me like of like a watercolor paper or I, I don't know, it was really thick and I loved the edges on the very top and the bottom. It was very rugged looking, so I just thought it was so cool. So what I'm doing is I am going to uh, start off and I'm just going to measure or like figure out what I need to cut off. And initially I just grabbed this board to use as a straight edge and I line it up and then I mark off where I think I'm gonna cut the board. Now, as I stand back and I look, I'm like, it does not look straight. So I go inside and that's when I find this like T ruler kind of thing or a T square or whatever, I don't even know what it's called. I thrifted it a while ago and I'm like, this is gonna come in so handy. And it did. So you can see how off I was on my first line. This made my line absolutely perfect. Now that I had a really straight line, I took my jigsaw and I cut it with a jigsaw. Typically, I would have used my regular chop saw, but this board was a lot wider than 12 inches, so I just grabbed my jigsaw, and I have a pretty steady hand, and if you really hold it and you just keep going straight and don't veer off, you get a really straight line. So now that I have a cut, this is when my vision changed. Initially, I was going to just put the board right on top to hold the print in place. And then I discovered it would cover up both the number and the signature. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted everybody to see who painted this beautiful print. As you can see, there is a tiny white line or like a border there. I want to cut that off because now how my vision is going to be, I am taking those boards and we're gonna just wrap it around the very edge. So that's how we're going to create the frame. And I don't want everybody to see this like white line. So I'm cutting it off. Then as I lay it down, I'm like, 
I don't know what color I should put underneath. And at first I thought about applying a stain underneath and I didn't like that idea, but there were so many beautiful greens in here that I decided uh, to pick out a green that is actually part of the print and I found a pretty darn close match. This is called Newell from Fusion and we are gonna paint the edge Newell. If you're wondering why I am painting just the edge or around the uh, perimeter is because when you lay the print down it shows just a little tiny bit of the wood and that's why I was questioning should I just um, paint the very edges or should I stain it and I thought if I just paint the edges um, it will blend very well with the rest of the print. Now that the edges are dry, I'm using liquid patina from DIY Paint and I am going to apply a nice even coat of the liquid patina. Then I am going to put the picture on top of that. This is going to hold it in place. And the key here is you want a really nice even layer of the liquid patina and then you just have to like hold it down the edges um, this is a thicker type of paper and it took a little bit of finagling to get the edges to lay down and actually adhere uh, but it worked and i absolutely love the outcome This paper is very different than the Roy Cycle decoupage paper that I typically use. So if you've watched those videos, I always use a starter strip. Because this is very thick, I did not do that. I just laid it down, um, lined it all up, laid it down, and then went around and I just did even pressure to really put it down. And then I reapplied a little bit of liquid patina around the perimeter. Now that it's completely dry, I went and I cut the one by two boards to create my frame. And this is really going to tie this whole piece together. And initially I sat here and I was looking, trying to figure out, should I pick another color from this print and actually paint that frame that color? Like the pink or blue. In the end, you guys, I decided Newell was the winner. And I applied one even coat to all the boards and let that dry very thoroughly. And then we're gonna come back and we are going to attach those boards. To put the frame on, you do want to use a brad nail gun. And I am using one and a quarter inch brad nails. The key here, or the tip that I would definitely recommend is when you brad nail your item, really make sure that your brad nail gun is level. You don't want it tilted one way or the, the other because your brad nail can then shoot out the top of your picture or out the bottom.
So what are your thoughts? Would you thrift something and then give it away as a gift? In the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. I think it's totally fine. Honestly, that was a brand new print. It was completely in the plastic. I just upcycled it and created a beautiful picture for somebody. So it would be perfect for your gardeners um, or any art lovers. I think it's pretty darn amazing. And I might have a little bit of trouble passing it by um, or giving it or putting it in my booth. I don't know. I'm thinking about actually gifting it myself. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I hope you are enjoying the 25 days of a handcrafted holiday and watch for more reels and shorts as I proceed through the next 25 days. All right, guys, well, you have a great weekend and I will see you Monday. Bye.